creating a fragrance is like creating anything that's premeditated. Uh, we start with an idea. Uh, whether it's a dish you're going to cook in the kitchen or whether it's a, a painting that you're going to paint, before you start, you have to know what you're going to do. A perfumer knows whether he's going to create or she's going to create for um, uh, women or for men, and whether it's going to be a fragrance which is more uh, a day fragrance, which is fresh and light, or whether it's going to be more of an evening fragrance, which is maybe going to be more sensual, or soft and powdery. The creation of a perfume you have to uh, make up a formula, which is, um, you could compare more or less to a, a cooking recipe, but uh, very precise and elaborate with many, many ingredients. The very first act of creation is hard to describe, but I think that uh, it starts with a, a, a little nothing, uh, like a click, which uh, probably defined the soul of a fragrance. With technology, there are always advancements, and whether it's extracting natural products using new techniques, or whether it's discovering new molecules that don't exist in nature, we're always receiving new ideas. I don't believe that new ideas are necessary to create a brand new fragrance. It's a bit like, if I may make the uh, association with the inkjet printer, which has only four cartridges, and yet can make 16 million colors. It's quite enough, the palette we already have of traditional ingredients to create many new ideas. So we're going to choose our jasmine, our rose, maybe tuberose for a white floral note. We're going to want some freshness, so we're going to choose to have mandarin or lemon, for example. And we make a note of all these ingredients. And then we start to get a picture and uh, start dosing the main ingredients. Perfume is a craft where the technical and the emotional side are very tied together. The very beginning of a creation is probably more tied to the emotion, which gives probably the, the spirit of the whole fragrance. But then very early in the creation process, there is a technical side to it. The best result is when the technical side is not visible. Okay. The rose is the morning dew, it's the, it's a fresh floral fragrance, it's very feminine. There is the jasmine, which is a, a wonderful fragrance, which smells divine in the middle of the night, which is picked in the morning because the, it smells perfect in the morning. It has a, a sensuality about it. It's a very sensual fragrance. Orange blossom. Orange blossom is almost associated with the sun. It's fresh. Uh, it's a white flower, but at the same time, it smells of oranges and lemons, and it has a, a wonderful freshness, associated also with cologne fragrances, for example, uh, in the form of neroli, which is the oil of orange blossom. The tuberose, magnificent flower and not an innocent smell at all. A fragrance that can be smelled from a long way away. It has a great trail, uh, almost narcotic. It smells sensual like the jasmine, but has an edge which is biting. Uh, and at the same time, you can be fooled easily because it has a little pina colada type coconut cocktail about it. Mm -hmm.